hey guys so welcome to another video and in this video i will show you how to fix a clogged liquid cooler so i have a corsair h100i extreme liquid cooler and after installing this i was getting 100 celsius temperatures and the pc was turning off automatically so maybe something is wrong with this pump so in this video we will open this pump and we will check out what is wrong with the pump and we will try to fix it so before we start please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications for latest videos Okay, so without wasting any further time, let's do this. To open the cooling block, you need a screwdriver and keep a container to fill the liquid. So on the cooling plate of the cooling block, there are eight screws. You have to unscrew these to open the cooling block. After unscrewing these eight screws, keep the keep the liquid container under the cooling block as the liquid will come out of the cooling block now as soon as you pull the plate outwards. So the plate has heat sinks on the back of it which comes in contact with the liquid. So after using these liquid coolers for a long time, these heat sinks are stuck with some particles of debris you have to clean these particles of debris for the proper working of the liquid cooler so we will do this this first and then we will open the other side of the liquid cooler to check the condition of the pump to clean the particles of debris stuck in the heat sink you need some liquid to dissolve these particles of debris or you need to soften these particles of debris to remove these from the heat sink for this you can use alcohol or you can also use body spray or perfume to to dissolve or soften the particles of debris then use a brush to clean it most difficult part of the the most difficult part of fixing a liquid cooler is to refill the liquid back into the radiator so you can do that by using your syringe and keep the liquid cooler vertically aligned and push the liquid downwards by pressing the pipes and the liquid will go into the radiator keep repeating this process and and using this method you can refill the liquid into the radiator and the liquid cooler
After refilling the liquid into the liquid cooler, install the metal plate on the cooling block of the liquid cooler. 8 screws on the metal plate. Then your liquid cooler is ready to use. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and please do subscribe to this channel. See you in the next one.